there. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Rapid Respawn to your advantage alongside Fire Bombs and Great Fireballs to do charms extremely, extremely quick. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be doing these monsters you can see at the right hand side, wasps, snakes, hyenas, uh, cobras, and scorpions. Uh, but this can be applied to just about any monster with weak HP. So think of it this way. Can, can a fire bomb kill the monster? If yes, find yourself a spawn with a lot of them, and this is going to work on that. So bear with me for now. I'm going to show you a rotation involving all these creatures I mentioned, but again, like I said, go look for these go look for other creatures that could fit this. Once you see the whole video, you'll understand what I mean. So we're going to start at the Wasp House in Darashia. And what you're simply going to do is you're going to come up here, uh, bring great fireballs, it's really good for all this, kill them. But what you're looking for is you're looking for what square they're spawning on. Let's say, for example, one of them spawns here. Boom, firebomb it. Come up here. Let's say they spawn over here. Boom, you firebomb it. The reason for this is on rapid respawn, they spawn so damn fast that even if you're on the other side of Anchorman or Darashia, they're still going to start dying on your firebomb. So you're going to go around, you're going to find all the spawns for them, and you're just going to boom. And you can spam it, you can, you know, light this place ablaze, bring a lot of firebombs. And you're going to light this whole place up. And you're going to start running. You're going to go to other spawns with the same monster. In this case, it's going to be wasps. And you're going to do a rotation of this. As you can see, I have my little number here. It isn't rapid respawn right now, but I do assure you this works. And you're gonna run your little legs. Go way up here. There's a nice little bunch of these. You can kill these, because you need probably charms for everything. And we're gonna find more wasps. We're gonna go up to this tower, and we're gonna do what we did the last tower. You're going to firebomb the hell out of it. Boom, same thing, boom. So we have two locations where they're spawning. There's a fourth location over here, more wasps. And you're just gonna continually do this in a nice little three triangle. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's as easy as that, honestly. I'm going to give you more examples because this is quite limited, but you get the idea, I imagine, Fortunately, this you can pretty much only do this on rapid respawn, but it's really something to take advantage of because if you have a lot of annoying monsters that you know you never got done that have weak HP, you can finally get rid of them, and they do pack up in the end. So boom, same as the last tower. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. All right. So that's all fine and dandy. For the wasps, but how about we move on to something else? And uh, I think I'll leave uh, a small little map just to show where I was going. Uh, but as far as other creatures, really, you're gonna have to use your imagination. You can look up other YouTube videos, I'm sure there's tons of people who made videos on great spawns for certain monsters, and all you're looking for is monsters that can die to a single firebomb because you want them to spawn the firebomb. Let's say they have like 60 HP or something. They'll walk on another square meter, get another 10 damage, and then eventually they'll die. And on rapid respawn, they'll, they'll die quickly. You're gonna do wasps very fast. If you can find a snake spawn, snakes, snakes are gonna go like hotcakes. A little bit more annoying for cobras, but I am including them in this video. And then, you know, use your, uh, use your head, like, uh, you can use uh, energy fields on certain creatures, there's all sorts of uh, ways you can adapt this strategy, but, you know, for the purposes of this video, I thought this is a pretty good way to show it. So you come up here, more wasps, unfortunately, and you get the picture, it's another wasp tower. But over here, it's a little bit different. I imagine, you know, doing one creature at a time is not very efficient. Here we have scorpions. So, over here, like I keep saying, find out where they spawn and just firebomb everywhere. I don't actually remember all the little square meters they spawn, but you can easily figure this out, especially when you see their corpses piling up 
with the random fire when you come back. You'll you'll notice where exactly they're spawning. Uh, you can do some nomads too, but the fire bombs just work as well. Them snakes are up here and scorpions. If I'm not mistaken. I think the snakes spawn around here. So you would just fire bomb this area, find those exact square meters where the snakes are. And there's a few snakes up here as well. And you can continue and do this circuit. There's a lot more scorpions this way, but what you really want for the scorpion charm is this little place up here. And feel free to explore this entire place, but you know, time is of the essence because your firebombs are going to go out and you have to keep going with the rotation. Up here, you have a ton of scorpions. I like to come up here and basically just firebomb almost every square meter because they spawn erratically up here. They're pretty much all over the place. And just imagine, you know, you would light this place all on fire. You're going to need a lot of firebombs. So we're going to run out of here real quick, do the rotation, get rid of the rest. There's quite a few scorpions around all of this place. And now we're going to go on the other side of the hill. And we're going to focus on hyenas, scorpions, and cobras. So perhaps the best way to look at this is north of the hill area here is one circuit and below is another circuit. Although when I did this I exclusively did wasps and then I moved on to all the other stuff. I don't have it on this character unfortunately. You're gonna come all the way over here. And it might seem a little silly, but there is a three pack hyenas here, so I like to just firebomb where they spawn. I believe it's uh, there's a few squares over here is where they spawn. And you'll get those. Where you're really going is over here. And feel free to kill all these skeletons and all that, you know, it all adds up in the end. See? There you go. Uh, you can do this with the nomads too, kind of. It's just not as good. Better off probably just GF being and running in circles around the desert. Uh, you could technically do this in tombs, but I think a better strategy again is to just run them with GFBs and you know, kill them en masse. Uh, you know, this works pretty well if you're low level because you don't have to be that high to uh, use firebombs. It doesn't work for you. So up here, we're gonna have a hyena spawn. And uh, I don't remember the square meters, but I think it's here and there's over here. And then there's like two to the south over here. So you're gonna cover those. There's a good pack right over here. They spawn directly in the middle over here. So you're kind of doing this. That'd be like one more. Some random guy just watching me. And you, same thing. You're gonna firebomb all these areas. You got some uh, cobras over here. So Cobras are a little bit more annoying, and I can tell you off the bat to spawn around here. But the big pack of Cobras is all scattered about in this room. And I do mean scattered. You're going to have to shoot like a firebomb here. There's two who spawn about here. There's two who spawn around here. And this is your main Cobra spawn. And it will be slower. I'm, this is probably not the best Cobra spawn, I imagine. Uh, there's a three pack of Scorpions over here. It's good. This is a very good rotation, just this area. So when you're on the bottom of the hill, there's about three spots you can hit up. And you'll you'll do it real quick, the hyenas particularly. I think a lot of people find hyenas pretty annoying for charms and don't think of doing them. So it's pretty quick with this. So your last place is going to be down here. Ooh, more skeletons. I lied. 
you could come up here if you wanted to and do these scorpions. It's a little extra. So, you know, you want, you might as well set that one up too. It's an extra scorpion spawning, so you want to do this as quickly as possible. And yeah, the nomads, if you want, you know, kill them too. Great fireballs, it adds up. Here we are. More hyenas. Boom, GFB. You need to come up here and just, you know, firebomb again. Find where they're dot where they're spawning. There's a few here. You come up here. There's a few more to firebomb. Then over here is a nice little three pack. You firebomb this area. And then up here, I think there's five in all. There's uh, two that spawn here, and about three or two who spawn here. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So, just to reiterate again, you're not limited to these monsters. It's basically anything you can think of as low HP. Imagine, you know, going uh, through the jungle perhaps and doing this. There's a ton of monsters in the jungle you could do this to. And uh, honestly, I think this is the quickest way to do a lot of the charms. It does, you know, it doesn't work for you. You're just running around in circles and things are dying, so uh, it gets it gets rid of some tedious work. Fortunately, it can only be done in rapid respawn, but hey, makes things a bit faster. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, greatly appreciated. And until uh, next time.